The admissions office here at Nayarada is here to help applicants through the entire process. There's of course a, a great deal of, uh, of, of paperwork that we require of you when you apply to whether it's the MBA programme or any of our uh, Master of Science programmes too. And our aim here is just to make that process that little bit more straightforward for you, answer any questions that, we, that you might have, uh, guide you through the process and then hopefully uh, be able to welcome you through at the other end as you, uh, as you start your programme here at Nayarada. The programmes here at Nayarada are fully English taught in any case. The admissions office works in English and a lot of our students uh, and indeed applicants do feel that of all of the countries uh, in, in Western Europe, I would say, with the exception, of course, of, uh, of the United Kingdom, Holland is one of those countries where it is also relatively easy to get by if you don't speak the language. And that makes it a very interesting study proposition for a lot of our students. Dealing with any of the paperwork that you need to come and study here with us at, at Nairoda, we try and help you out as much as we possibly can. If you're looking at requiring a study visa to enter the Netherlands, then I, I or my colleagues here at the admissions office will help you with all of that. We can do a lot of the paperwork for you or together with you to help the, the process run that bit more smoothly and a lot more quickly than if you were to do it individually. If you're looking at opening a bank account, for example, other paperwork that you'd need to do to, to get your, your resident status legalised uh, as soon as you arrive in the Netherlands, then we'll also work with you with, uh, on those issues as well. What makes Nairode different than a lot of the business schools that are available uh, worldwide, I think, if you speak particularly to our alumni and to our students, is the, the small size of the school. The fact that once you're here, even when you're a part of the admissions process, you're a name, not a number. Uh, we tend to refer to our applicants by their name when they're in the process, whether we're speaking to them face to face or whether we're in meetings with each other discussing particular applications. And that carries on right throughout the process, whether you're uh, applying to the school, whether you're a student, whether you're an alumnus, you are a name, you are a real person. And that means that you've also got a great deal more interaction with your fellow students while you're here. If you're a, a member of a smaller class, it means that you have a lot more interaction with faculty members. You're a lot closer to the faculty. And I think that makes a great difference, particularly if you're looking at an MBA program where you are looking to develop your own skills, to, to increase your knowledge. That interaction is an important element for many of our students. Uh, the angel hanging on my light is, uh, is quite simply just a, a present that I once had from a colleague. And, uh, but yeah, we have a little bit of, uh, a little bit of hopefully, of angel dust sprinkled over the admissions office every now and again. Mm -hmm.